Welcome to your first lesson video. Today we're going to learn section 1.1, Variables and Expressions. And the objective for this lesson is that we can write algebraic expressions. So to begin this lesson, we're going to define our terms, as you can see on the screen. Make sure your notes are lined up and ready to go. The first term that we're going to talk about is quantity. And a quantity is anything that can be measured or counted. We're going to be working with quantities a lot. The second term is variable. Variables are very important. Variables are a symbol, usually a letter, that represents one or more numbers. Make sure you know what a variable is. There are two different types of expressions that we're going to study right now. The first one is called an algebraic expression, and that happens when you have a mathematical phrase that has one or more variables in it. Algebraic expression. The other type of expression is called numerical expression, and guess what's in it? Numbers but not variables. Numerical expression. Okay, now that we have those terms down, make sure you're caught up. Feel free to pause this video right now. And if you're ready, we will go on to example one. In this example, we need to look at the word phrase and write an expression for that word phrase. So in part A, we have the phrase 32 more than a number n. And you can see in the model in the middle that that will help us. 32 more than a number n. Well, what does more than mean? If I were to give you 32 more objects, you would have an additional amount. So that means we add. So our expression is going to be 32 plus n. In part B, we have the phrase 58 less a number n. Take a look at the model. We have 58 total, and we're taking away n. Well, what operation is the one that takes away? You may have guessed it. It's subtraction. So we're going to have 58 minus n. All right, we're going to go on to example 2 now. We're going to do the same thing, except this time we're using multiplication and division. So in part A, we have 8 times a number n. What does times mean? Well, that is multiplication. So we're going to have 8 times n. So we have a multiplication symbol. You're probably used to using an x for multiplication. Well, we're going to switch over to using the multiplication dot, because then it doesn't confuse us with the letter X. And another way to write this is 8N. In part B we have the quotient of a number N and 5. What does quotient mean? Quotient means division. So we're dividing N into 5 equal parts. So we're going to write N divided by 5. And another way is to write it in fraction form, n over 5. So there's a couple different forms. Okay, example 2 is done. We're moving on to example 3. We're going to continue looking at word phrases and writing them as expressions. So in part A, we have 3 more than twice a number x. How about we split this up into different segments so that we can focus on the different pieces of this expression. So. 3 more than twice a number x. Let's separate the 3 more than twice a number x. Well, write down the 3. What does more than mean? Well, we talked about this er earlier. That means adding. So we have 3 plus twice a number x. Another way to think about that is doubling x. So we're going to have 2 times x. That's multiplication. So 2x. So the expression that represents that word phrase is 3 plus 2x. In part B, we have 9 less than the quotient of 6 and a number x. 
Let's split this up again. Nine less than the quotient of six in a number x. Nine. Nine less than means we're going to be subtracting. So let's work with the quotient of six and the number x first. Quotient means division, so we have six over x, and we're subtracting nine from that. So we have six divided by x minus nine. And part P, part C says the product of four and the sum of a number x and seven. Product of four. and the sum of a number x and 7. Product of 4. Well, what does product mean? It means multiplication. So we're going to have 4, and we're multiplying this whole next part, the sum of a number x and 7. Sum means add, so we have x plus 7. And there you go. Example 3 is done. In example four, we are given the expression and we need to write it as words. So this is exactly the opposite of what we just did. We have the expression 3x. It can also be written as 3 dot x or 3 times x. So we're going to write that. 3 times a number x. Another way to say this is the product of 3 in a number x. Remember, because product means multiplication. So that is example 4, and we are ready to go on to the last example. This is an application problem. As you can see in the picture, we have a guy playing cards. He's making a house out of cards. And we need to figure out what is a rule or expression for the height of this table and the house of cards. So give the rule in words and as an algebraic expression. So what we need to do is combine the height of the table with the height of the house of cards, depending on how many layers there are or levels. So take a look at the table. As you can see, when the number of levels of cards increases, the height overall increases as well. So look at the height column in particular. Each time the level increases, you have to multiply the number of levels by the height of each level. So 3.5 times the number of levels. Well, if we had n levels, then what we're going to do is multiply 3.5 times n, which is the number of levels, and we're going to add the 24 because that is the height of the table below the house of cards. Now we just need to write that as a rule in words. We're going to write multiply the number of levels by 3.5 because that is the height of each level and then we're going to add 24 which is the height of the table below so that's what it asked for. It asked for an, an expression, and it also asked for the expression in words. So example five is done. And as you can see on your note sheet, there's a lesson check below, but you can wait to do that until we do this lesson in class together.